Do you want to know what's happening in and around Lake Tahoe seven days a week, every night? Tune in for the Tahoe Tonight Show, 5, 8, and 11 p.m. Your host, Kristen miller Farrell. great guests, great conversation. And get ready, my friends, a brand new studio is coming at you November 1st. Hello in the studio. Hey, it's Dave. I'm here with Jannie. Hi. Hi, Jan. So Jan is the realtor for Reno. She's with Nevada Home one. Connections. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I asked everybody in town, who should we have on the show? And everybody said Jan McKenzie. That's very good. Nevada Home Connections. This, this is true. And we've talked about mm -hmm. this before. So obviously, I hold out for summer. You're it's still working summer. And I've got a down vest and a sweater. And there's skis all over the place. Right, I know. But I, I love, winning? I want the sun. But speaking of this, how's this segue? Nice. How should we prepare our homes for fall and winter, Jan McKenzie? You know what I've been finding quite a lot, Dave Mulligan, is um, we have a lot of people that live in our northern Nevada area, Tahoe, um, that came from elsewhere and they don't realize how big our seasons are. We have to put our landscaping to bed in the fall in preparation for winter or we end up with broken pipes and everything pretty much All right, okay. dormant. Sure. And a lot of people just go, really? And they don't have any idea how it works. And what happens? Well, the pipes will freeze. In the spring, you'll turn it all on again. and, and Water everywhere. Yeah, water everywhere. Water you, damage. I mean, yes. it can be serious. If you leave your hoses connected to the house during the winter, they can. the water can go into the pipe, inside the house, under the house, and burst, and you won't even know till it starts to thaw out. Who wants that? Nobody wants that. And another thing people don't realize they need to do, because we live in such an alpine, foresty, dry climate, is the furnace intake filters have to be cleaned, changed every three months. I always say when the season changes, you change your intake filter. Otherwise, if you think about it, your furnace is inhaling. If it can't inhale because there's so much crud in the filter, it's going. <laughs> so it's not going Wait, to what's it doing? <laughs> <laughs> Gasping for air. So it, it. I don't think I've ever you? changed mine. Well, yes. You might find your allergies get all better if you change it. What? Yeah. So if you don't have furnace intake filters in your hallway or up in the ceiling, then it's probably inside the furnace, but you absolutely have to change those so that your your furnace doesn't crack and die in the middle of winter. Okay, so irrigation, make sure we disconnect the hose, filters, uh, what about plants and uh, all the things out back? Are, uh, Anything that's in a pot that you can pick up, you should bring in at least into your garage. They're going to go dormant, but if they're not packed it into the soil, packed it, impacted into the soil, then they're probably going to die. So pull all that into your garage or into the entryway of your house, they won't last the winter. Now, do you have any of this information on your website? You better know because I just asked you. Yeah, sure. It'll be on my website in an hour. <laughs> She's going to run back to the office and my, put it on there. My email is jan at janmckenzie.com. Email me. I'll tell you everything. She will you respond. Know. That's Jan McKenzie, Nevada Home Connections, my friend and a friend of the show. So thanks so much, Janie. Thank you. I'm David Bobo. See you next time.